have you been in, have you been in that stadium before no i heard it's just you know it's nhl it's up it's it's an nhl arena what's wrong we we, we, oh, call, you... we, we called those games one and two off the <laughs> oh, monitor exactly. from zachville <laughs> oh yeah sorry jeff was informing me i was supposed to know that jeff wasn't giving me the the, the format he didn't give you the no. yeah, that he one. gave me the notes i just forgot to relay them yes we caught you know what <laughs> logan and i and the crew we had a lot of fun calling the games they were great games to call but it would have been really cool to be in a building with 18,000 people screaming from the seventh floor, seeing what it's like being in the show. I'm sorry, man. Would have been great. But you know what? It is what it is. And now, and again, a little inside baseball. Okay, so on night two, our feed from Quebec, the DeGero, kind of, we were getting a clean feed, which means no RDS graphics. Not sound from the arena like night one. Something happened. Again, you have to put on the show. And so we were calling off the uh, – off what we call the dirty feed. So just off RAS. So they have the, the, the French announcers turned down. So we still have some sound. But I'm hearing Marc-Andre and, and Stefan in my in my ears the entire game. So I got to tell – I told Marc-Andre Dumont – Last last night, hey, I get I got to call a game with you. We called game two together. He's like, <laughs> yeah, he has no idea. Yeah, yeah. Former Eagles coach, so we had a we had a good chuckle with that. But there was one point where Furlong scores, and for some reason, I say Zach or Jake Furlong, and I'm so mad at myself. And this is I pick up my pen, I throw it across the across the studio as an homage to someone who used to work at East Link. I'm not going to say his name. But he might have called the WHL game last night. <laughs> Anyways, you might be able to figure out who it was. He had, was in a similar situation a, a, a decade or so prior where something happened on a on a call and he picked up his pen and threw it across the studio. A, yeah. a little frustration. I was a little frustrated. And again, that's on me because I messed up the call. But Well, given the circumstances, you can't get that mad no, at yourself. No, I know. I know. That would be so tough. There's a part two to this, though. Because this morning, my producer texted me and said, CTV used your voice. They used your goal call on the... Uh, on the news last night, I was like, oh, they, they didn't. <laughs> Which goal call? He's like, oh, the one, the one you threw your pen at. I'm like, great. <laughs> Whoever cut that, thanks, CTV. Appreciate it. 